me back to the first time that you met John and then to the first time when you're like, oh, maybe there's something here. <laughs> God, the first time I met John. Uh, so he always says that the first time we like really met and talked to each other was he was like running down the hallway, getting ready to go up to do their shield entrance. And he's like putting all the like oil in his hair and wetting his hair or whatever. And I was, and this was me for like figuring out what like wrestling Twitter was like. I was like, Hey, people on the internet, like for some reason think we're dating. And he was like, looks good on you, babe. And I was like, <laughs> how dare you? I had like no idea, but he always says that, that was like the first time we like, we like really kind of interacted. Um, God, the first time we like really started talking. Well, I, <laughs> I always remember we would kind of like go back and forth and talk in the sense, like I was always really close with Summer Ray, and she kind of came up the same time as all the shield boys. So she was really close with all those guys. So I would just kind of like hang out with them and whatever. And uh, I remember John came up to me like by talent viewing, which is backstage, everyone's sitting there, like watching the monitor, watching the shows, whatever. It was like a big, like tank filled with, you know, pop and whatnot. And John doesn't talk to anybody. He's like, really keeps to himself little did I know and I'm like standing by like the water cooler thing he's like hey we uh we got tv in Vegas in a couple of weeks you want to hang out and I was like I got so red because I was like did he's like ask me on a date in front of everybody what a psychopath so I remember being like embarrassed and I was like yeah okay fine well like okay we'll go hang out so I am thinking he's asking me on a date and so I'm like, okay, I'm going to hang out with him. We had been like talking a lot leading up to this, like just like on our phones on this like Vox or app, like we talked to each other all the time. And uh, anyway, so I went to go hang out with him and I was, I remember like being at my hotel, just like changing and unchanging. And what do I wear? Am I just like casual? Is this like, what am I doing? And I go to hang out with him and it was like, I was like, okay, we're gonna have like a one-on-one -on -one date and we'll like see what's up. <laughs> I walk into this bar. I run into Seth right away. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing here? He's like, what are you doing here, Canada? I'm like, I don't know. I thought I was coming on a date, <laughs> but it was like him and like five or six of his buddies. So I'm like hanging out and feeling like such a like fifth, sixth wheel. I'm like, what am I doing here? Oh my God. I must have misread that situation. So I hung out for a bit and I was like, anyways, I guess this isn't what I thought that it was. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go meet up. I was going to meet up with Ms. and Dolph. They were out somewhere else in Vegas. So I was like, I'm going to go down there. And John was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just come with you. And I was like, oh, okay. So he ended up coming with me and we like, anyways, did whatever the hell people do on this trip in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we hung out that whole night. But that was sort of like a feeling each other out, testing the waters. But we we had just ended up talking to each other so, so much. And he, I remember like not hearing from him one day. And I was like, huh, I didn't hear from him today. Do I miss him? Oh, my God. And being like, oh, here we go. You like him. Great. And then, uh, yeah. And then the first time we actually like when it was like we were definitely on the same page of like, okay, we're like hanging out and like we're probably going to get a little romantic. <laughs> and just literally from that point on, we've just been together. He came and met me in Orlando. I was going to do a taping of NXT. We were on like neutral territory. And we just, we hung out in his hotel room all night. He, uh, he like bought all like my favorite candy, like the, the wine I drank. And like, when I say we hung out in his hotel room, like, let me make this very clear that we like sat on separate couches and we like, cause we were both so awkward. We were so awkward. I didn't really know like what was going down. We we're both like too cool to like make a move. And we stayed up to like four in the morning, just like, at, like hanging out. And then like, eventually someone makes a move. Thank God. Otherwise he'd just be my best friend. Um, but she is, but there's more to it than that. <laughs> and now you are with child. Yeah, exactly. One thing leads to another. <laughs> <laughs> did you plan to make the pregnancy announcement the way it was like it was it was in a John Moxley promo yeah no I so I did not intend on it going that way um I'm glad that it went that way because it took all the pressure off of me because as you know as we're getting closer to being like oh I guess like it's almost time to tell people that I'm pregnant like it's, it's, we're in the safe zone everything's cool everything looks good um so we were getting down to the nitty-gritty anyways so I'm like trying to think, I'm like, do I just make like an Instagram announcement? Like, what do I do? And he was out in Jacksonville and he called me. He's like, I can like just say it, right? I was like, oh, sure. I had like just come back from having an ultrasound and everything looked great. And like, that's, you know, that's the main concern, obviously, just making sure that everything's okay and healthy. So the fact that I like went there, I like heard the heartbeat. I see the little baby. I'm like, 
yeah, the baby is in there. The baby's doing good. I guess you can tell people. So he just like blurted it out in the promo. But I remember he like called me. He's like, because he had like pre-taped it. And uh, he was like, the world's going to know in like moments. It's going to be out there. So I had like just gotten out of the shower. My phone just starts like blowing up. Everyone's like, did I just hear him say that right? So it took the pressure off of me of like having to like figure out like some like cute little way to do it. I actually <laughs> loved that. It was like, hey, it came from him. Easy. It, it was one of those moments in the promo where you had to be like, hold, hold on. Did he just... <laughs> Did he just yeah. say he has a pregnant wife at home? I know. Wait, hey, that Renee is his wife. Yeah, so crazy. I know it was so funny. Like all these people making that connection of like, wait, skirt, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm over here just hanging with a kid, making it happen. And now you're, you know, four months from now, you'll be hanging with a kid so on the crazy. outside of your body. I know. Oh my God, what's that going to be like? Yeah, it's, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh my God. I don't even like know any kids. I don't know what I'm getting into. I don't know. Like John, and I went for a walk the other day and this like little kid rode up on his bike behind us and he was like, hello, hello. And I like turned around. I was like, Hey man. And then like this, like dog walked past me. I'm like, Hey buddy, how are you? I was like, Oh my God, I can talk to a dog so easily, but I don't know how to talk to kids. I got to like figure it out. What is John Mox with a dad going to be like? I don't I have no idea. Honestly, your guys' guess is as good as mine. But I think, uh, I mean, not to like blow his cover or anything, but he's like a pretty sweet dude. Um, so I think, I think once this little girl enters his world, she's going to like rock him. Yeah, I think like, I think she's going to have him wrapped around her little finger. He's very protective too. So I think like, I think that'll be the first thing is like making sure everything's okay and like, Make sure every like corner's padded and no one's getting hurt or anything like that. But I feel like this kid's going to be um, like very rough and tumble. I was like such a tomboy as a kid, like always scraped up and, you know, doing whatever. Obviously, John was the same. So I'm like, this kid's going to grow up on a wrestling mat. I'm sure he's like, she's going to be choking bitches out before you know it. He's going to be like, taking her down to like his like MMA Jimmy works out at and everything. I'm like, first of all, she's going to be playing hockey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's so exciting to like be doing this experience with like my favorite person that like dawned on me the other day. I was like, whoa, I'm like making a person with my favorite person. It's crazy. It's really oh, cool. That's yeah. so sweet. I know, but it's wow. true. It's like, it blows my mind. I'm like, dude, we like made a person. Oh my God. Like she can look like you. She can look like me. Like whose personality is she going to have? I hope so she looks crazy. more like you. <laughs> Just saying. Me too. Honestly, me too. <laughs>